Hi there, how's it going YouTube? So I decided to make another video. Uh, this video is going to be for educational purposes only. Uh, if you happen to have your Epic 4G Touch, you have probably noticed that there's a lot of bloatware from Sprint. Um, so when you first get your phone, obviously you're going to notice when you power it on. You can have this Sprint, Sprint Zone update thing here. Okay. Now, uh, the reason why you're going to want to uninstall the Sprint applications that I'm going to cover right now uh, is basically to clear out some of um, some space uh, in your storage, your SD card. Now, um, obviously, if you're going to use some of the applications there, then um, that's probably probably not a good idea. But chances are, you're not going to want all these different apps here. So you have Sprint ID, Sprint Mobile, Sprint Music Plus, Sprint Hotspot. Sprint TV and Sprint Zone. Now you're not going to be able be able to uninstall everything, but I'm going to show you what you can do here. So you're going to go into Menu, and you're going to go into Settings. You're going to go into Applications, Manage Applications here, and you're automatically going to be in the Downloaded tab there. So you have Downloaded, All on SD Card and Running. So for some reason there. Uh, on the downloaded tab there so these are all the apps that are downloaded there and these are pretty much you know the ones that aren't going to be very useful to you you're most likely going to want to uninstall them so let's say uh, Nova 2 here uh, I don't think it's the full version uh, and even if it is uh, you know I'm not a big gamer on my phone so I'm going to show you what you can do here I'm going to uninstall it's going to ask you do you want to uninstall the application okay uh, do you want Google to use location? Sure. So, uninstalled, finished. Then, uh, you know, I don't care much for NASCAR, so I don't, you know, that's not my cup of tea. I don't give a crap about NASCAR, so I'm going to uninstall there. Again, you just tap the app, and it's going to give you some information here. And now, uh, whether you want to uninstall it or not, uh, obviously, I want to uninstall it. You're going to tap um, OK. Uninstall finished. Sprint Music Plus. Um, you know, obviously go over the app before you uninstall them. Maybe this is something that you're going to want on your phone. Uh, I don't really care much for this, so I'm going to uninstall. OK. Sprint Radio. That's another thing that I'm not going to use, personally me. So I'm going to uninstall it. OK. Sprint TV and movies again. I can't, you know, go go and check it out before you uninstall it. I know it is because I've, you know, I've been with Sprint for so long and I've had a bunch of different smartphones. So Sprint TV and movies, no thanks. Uninstall. Okay. Telenav. I'm gonna leave it on there just in case my Google Lab, my Google Maps um, decides to, you know, freak out or if it's not running properly, I'm gonna have that as a backup. And tutorial on widgets, I don't really care for, so I'm going to uninstall. Okay. And that's pretty much the way to uninstall bloatware on your Epic 4G Touch. Um, they're actually not completely uninstalled. Um, they are actually buried deep within the, um, the operating system, but at least you're not going to have them there visually, and they're not going to be completely there. So you get rid of, you know, bloatware. You don't want you know on your phone it's going to run a little bit faster you're going to have more storage and you don't have to worry about any um, you know any kind of app or any kind of widget taking up system resources and your phone is going to run beautifully here so if you don't want any bloatware uh, do what I just did you're going to go into menu settings applications manage applications and it's going to be in the downloaded tab there and you uninstall whatever you don't want to use and whatever you don't want to have on your phone and you're good to go so hopefully um, this was helpful and uh, you know hopefully you're able to do it and your phone can run faster and better and smoother so thanks for watching have, if you have any questions any comments anything that I might have missed feel free to leave it in the comment section below and I'll talk to you later